St. Nicholas is not coming this year. Instead, a much darker ancient spirit. His name is Krampus. He and his helpers did not come to give, but to take. Here's your Christmas spot on the Royal Bobble's Krampus Bobblehead. Krampus is coming to town as a bobblehead this holiday season. This royal bobble is from the 2015 American horror comedy film based upon the titular character from Germanic folklore. A little sugar, a little spice makes everything nice. Oh, I'm convinced the naughty kids won't be getting cold this Christmas. Before, of course, we get a closer look at the Royal Bobbles Krampus bobblehead, let me send out a big thank you fo first to the folks over at Royal Bobbles that did provide this sample we could have a look at. It is currently available over on their sites. The folks over at Royal Bobbles have also created a coupon code. If you guys would be interested in saves 15% off, you can head over to their website and use Review Spot 15. Save 15% on any purchase of bobbleheads over there. Krampus, though, in the meantime, stands six and a half inches in height, or the bobblehead's going to be about 16 centimeters tall. Just bring in a couple of horror bobbleheads from other holidays. Here's what the Krampus looks like with the partially unmasked. I think this was the lollipop slasher version of Sam. If you were to say look at the horns, then you'd see that the figures are going to be about the same size to one another. If you don't count the horns, of course, on the top of Krampus's head, he's a lot shorter than Sam. Another figure also we've looked at here from Halloween, at least. Here's what the bobblehead of Krampus looks along with the bobblehead of Michael Myers standing behind the bush. As always is the case, the bobbleheads are carefully packed inside a styrofoam. Well, you saw that at the beginning of this review. And also one thing that I had a bit of a snag with, they're also wrapped carefully as well with foam that is just tucked underneath the head to prevent the head from bobbling about. One was a little bit snagged here. You probably saw at the beginning of this video, just around the beard and the nail section as those are more sharp and pointed pieces. I just want to be careful, of course, when you're removing it because you'd hate to have the Krampus break in the process. What a nice looking figure this is. A nice bobblehead this is. Krampus, as you can see, is perched on top of the house. The house itself, you're only getting a roof, but at least you get windows there on one side and on the other as well. I think it's a fun little touch. They could have put a little silhouette of a child looking out the window, wondering if they heard maybe Santa Claus walking across the rooftop. It's certainly not Santa this time around, though. I will say, though, I really like the coloring of the roof, though. By bringing in more darker, colder colors, it not only then bring, brings more attention to the fact that Krampus is on top of it, but it also it certainly sells the idea that this is a more icier wonderland. As Krampus arrives to town, everything basically shuts down. Uh, on the bottom of also the stand, you can see as well, it says Royal Bobbles Premium Quality Collectibles. With their website has always been the case at www.royalbobbles.com. Protected as well on the bomb's corners, at least. you got some rubberized feet as well to prevent scratching on surfaces. But again, nice little rooftop that they got. They also got like little icicles there as well, just underneath. And a little bit of settled snow. All again, really done in this nice ice blue. Of course, the main focal point of this is the fact that Krampus is perched on top of this. Krampus, as you can see, is sort of more the darker shadow of Santa Claus. So he has a beard, he has, of course, the hood, but then he has other things that aren't affiliated with necessarily Santa, like very long fingernails. One thing I really didn't notice right away in the movie was that Krampus actually is sporting some rings. A couple of rings on one, and he's sporting one on the other. I really like the darker colors that they went with here. Krampus comes across more kind of a lighter gray, and he's got some nice more lighter colors of, of white or kind of, a, kind of a lighter gray that they've used for the beard as well. Now, Krampus generally has the open mouth, especially when we see what little we see of him in the movie. He sort of is basically just like sauntering around with his mouth open like this, and they've nicely done that as well. You can kind of see inside the mouth, tops and bottoms of teeth, and it almost looks as well as like it got a second set of teeth. Can you actually see that? Looks like he's actually got like a second set of teeth on the inside. That's very creepy. And of course, you also have the very glowing eyes there of Krampus, nicely done, and very, I think these are all hand-painted pieces as well. Nicely done here, more in an orange paint as well. If we spin around the side of Krampus, it really gives you a chance as well to see all the meticulous work that they took the time to sculpt and paint. The fact that they would have to go in there and say, for example, paint the chains, that's very close in quarters to basically the robe and cloak that he wears. I would imagine like silver would be very easy to find its way then onto the more crimson colors. But yet the paint is really nicely done here. You can see all the little locks and bolts and chains that he has wrapped around the back of his body. A really, really nice looking Krampus. I would love to see them also release a Krampus that isn't necessarily rooftop perched. Perhaps maybe just one that's 
freestanding, for example, and then you get the full effect of his body. Love to see that maybe as a future release. And of course, one other thing that isn't Santa Claus related is the fact he has these big giant ram horns sticking out the top of his head. Things like this, for example, things like his fingers are all more susceptible to breaking. So carefully, always be the case when you're carefully taking these out of their trays and very carefully also when you have these on display. I'm going to be putting this guy out right now after this review on my, my mantle with some of my other Christmas decorations as well. Now, this is not only simply just a really stunning looking statue, but also as well, it's a bobblehead. So the bobblehead does have a built-in spring. You can see, maybe you might be able to see in between the head and the rest of the body, there's a little bit of a gap space and there's the spring sitting inside. It does do enough to bobble the head back and forth, but maybe it doesn't have as much luxury as maybe say Sam. Sam's head was really basically on the top and the springs went straight up. This actually looks like the spring is kind of more sideways. So the bobbling part of at least Krampus doesn't bobble maybe as much as say Sam or Michael Myers that we looked at before. Even though it doesn't bobble as much, it is just again a stunning looking a bobblehead statue. One that I'm certainly going to be putting out every holiday season. Now again, like the neat thing about these is not only again... Even if you're not big on the idea of bobbleheads, the thing that always draws me in when it comes to stuff that Royal Bobbles is doing is that they really essentially put out premium quality statues that just happen to have the benefit as well of a bobblehead built in. While Krampus, again, doesn't have as much of a bobbling, say, as Sam or, say, as Michael Myers, boy, it's a really nice piece to be putting on display. Probably not one you're going to be putting out all year round, but at Christmas time, no doubt, Krampus may be finding his way onto the mantle and hopefully not finding his way onto your rooftop either. Coming out in 2015 and being an annual tradition in my house ever since, I have to watch Krampus every single year. I don't tend to watch it at the beginning of the month. It seems to be something I kind of wait till closer to Christmas because like Krampus arriving at Christmas time, I kind of want to do the same too. I like to keep more of the Christmas kind of the classics or the ones I like to watch the most closer to the Christmas time as close as I possibly can get. Michael Doherty, in fact, actually both directed and wrote this movie. He was also responsible for doing Trick or Treat. Two classics from two different holiday slashers. Him doing, of course, Trick or Treat for Halloween, Krampus now for Christmas time, and one again, nice Christmas classic it is with Krampus now being a bobblehead produced by the folks over at Royal Bobbles. The thing I really also like about this is the cold colors that they went with here. Even like Krampus. Krampus isn't brightly colored here in crimson. He's actually kind of more like dark, gloomy, and cold, like the rooftop he's on top of. One, one thing I did mention in this review is something I would love to see uh, Royal Bubbles do maybe for a future Krampus release, if they ever plan to do Krampus again, is maybe to release him as just standing on his own. Not necessarily on top of a rooftop necessarily, but just actually having him just standing on his own with the bobble heading feature on the front. That would be definitely a cool bobblehead to be picking up. Speaking, though, of Bob picking up, if you guys are interested, get this one for yourself. It is available over at Royal Bobbles. And once mentioned already, you can also use the coupon code of ReviewSpot15. Save yourself 15% on anything that's over on their site for Royal Bobbles. And again, a big thank you to Royal Bobbles for providing this sample during the holiday season where we had the chance to have a look at the Krampus bobblehead. What do you guys think of it? Let me know down below in the comments section. Certainly, always as well, if you guys enjoyed this video, I want to hit it with a like. If you guys are loving the content you guys are seeing, anyway, to stick around for more Christmas spots. We are going to be still looking at some more for the rest of December. If you haven't already done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and you're turning on the bell notification. And of course, as always, guys, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.